Well, listen to this story. No men allowed. That will be the rule on the entire 19th floor of a new JW Marriott Hotel being built in Grand Rapids, Michigan. A lounge at the hotel also will be reserved for women only when the hotel opens in September. Spokeswoman Andrea Groom said more than half of all business travelers are women. She told the Grand Rapids Press that they want to be able to relax over a drink without getting hit on by guys. Have you ever seen the women in Grand Rapids, Michigan? I don't think this is a problem. It says here, the women-only rooms will have distaff-specific, look it up, amenities such as special hair dryers, bath products, jewelry holders, and chenille throws. But the businesswomen will have to pay for the privilege rooms on the women-only floor will be about $30 more than the usual rate. This is pretty outrageous, and I think illegal. I'm no attorney, but I can't believe it's legal. We have laws in this country against gender discrimination, period. It can't be legal to have a women-only floor, and it shouldn't be legal. You know, women have bullied their way into every male bastion in America, whether it be private clubs, golf clubs, country clubs, steakhouses, bars. I mean, the lawsuits go back 75 years in this country. Women have demanded the equal right to go anywhere and do anything, anytime. So why in the world should women then be able to go back in time and have women-only facilities? It's totally outrageous and absolutely wrong, and I think it should be fought at every turn. Unless they want to have some men-only facilities. Men-only for pornography, little porno, cigars, that's right. 64-ounce colon-clogging uh, uh, porterhouse steaks. I mean, uh, if, if, if the JW Marriott announced that they were going to have a floor for men only, uh, they, they, women would be picketing, demonstrating. They'd be called misogynists. But women only, and it's perfectly okay. It's not okay. Women demanded the laws that made things equal. Women have filed countless lawsuits to have access to anything men do. There used to be men-only high schools, like prep schools, men-only colleges. Women fought court cases in every one of these situations and won. The laws are clear. No gender discrimination. How about Title IX in colleges? You know, you can't have a, a guy's baseball team without a girl's baseball team. You can't have a guy's wrestling team without a girl's res wrestling team. You can't have a guy's tennis team without a girl's tennis team. Colleges have had to cancel men's sports programs because there were no equivalent women's sports programs, and they had to make it fair. Now, if we have to accept that, if we have to accept the idea that everything has to be absolutely equal, J.W. Marriott has no right to have a women's only floor in the hotel. And hopefully, somewhere in our listening area, somebody will be in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and will demand to stay on the 19th floor of the J.W. Marriott Hotel. When they get turned down, they will file a lawsuit. Men can file lawsuits, too. Am I wrong? Tom like it. 1 800 5 800. T -t -t Tom. Can you smell? The Tom Likas Show. At 1 800 5 800. Tom, thank you for tuning in. Sally on the Tom Liggett Show. Hello. Tom, good afternoon. Yes. Hi, this is Sally. I know, uh, I just said that. Long time listener. Thank you. 
and not a first-time caller. Okay. I was calling because your conversation about men-only clubs and women-only clubs caught my ear, and um, I was calling because my dad belongs to a men-only club, and he belongs to a couple, but um, I think it's great he has a place to go, get away from my mom and us and just do his own thing. I'm, I hope I'm not letting the cat out of the bag by saying where he goes or anything, but I can tell you right now, women are not allowed there. They're not welcome there. Nobody wants them there, and I know that a lot of things go on that... Um, well, let's just say... Keep that. in mind, though, that's only private clubs uh, that are allowed to do that. And even those, uh, there are certain limited situations where that is allowed. Uh, the feminist... Well, it's been going on for a really long time. Oh, well, most, of them, really most of them have stuff. been. Most of them have been. But Gloria yeah. Allred, the feminist there attorney... There used to be a bunch in Chicago. Like, there used to be some well, men there, only... There used Chicago. to be a lot of things. But, but yeah. the, the feminist attorney, Gloria Allred, uh, sued the Friars Club. Do you know the Friars Club? Um, I've heard of it, but I'm not sure where it's at. Well, uh, the, there is one in New York, and that's the one she sued. Uh, the Friars Club is a club for primarily aging comedians and show business people. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. And and it was a male-only club, and she sued and won. Well, and, I think that's for in. someone to actually go to this JW Marriott. I think you said it was in... Uh... Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yeah, I'd love for somebody to check in with their husband or their girlfriend or, you know, a guy check in there and see what happens when they insist on staying on that yeah. 19th floor. You, spoke you know, there is supposed to be, uh, there's the laws about what are called public accommodations, and a hotel is certainly a public accommodation. Absolutely. If, if a man can stay on the rest of the floors of the hotel, uh, you cannot make a law that says that men can't stay on one particular floor. You can't do it. I, I totally agree with you. I mean, I think it's nice they want to do something for women only, but then they should have a men only floor as well. It's uh, only fair. Absolutely. And then the minute they do that, of course, women will be suing, saying, oh, yeah, all the business deals being done on the men only floor, and women need access to that. Uh, but meanwhile, they, they want to have their own floor. It's ridiculous. It is. I agree with you. I don't disagree on this one. You Thank got you. my attention on this, and I agree. My dad has this place to go, and. You know, they, they go riding, they go horseback riding, they do all kinds of guy stuff. They go hunting, they go fishing, they tell, you know, raunchy stories around the campfire. And they have a great time. And I know that if he, if he didn't have that release, I just, I'm glad he has it. And he comes back a better person. And he takes my brother sometimes. So, um, you know, they always have funny stories, the ones they want to share. And, you know, there's some stuff that gets released to the, you know, they, they do various mailings, and you see things, and you see pictures, and it's hysterical. I'm, well, I'm I wish I wish we had know. more of that, uh, because there are so many places where it used to be great to be a man. Uh, nothing hurts me more than to be at a sporting event and to see the kiss cam on the screen, where they are showing pictures of couples and saying, give them a kiss. It's like, you know, when I was a kid, when you went to a hockey game, 99% of the attendees were men. There were fist fights breaking out in the aisles of the hockey game, and uh, people drinking and smoking like fiends, and and it was a real male environment, and everybody cursing and chanting vulgar chants and everything. Now they make announcements ask you not to use vulgar language. At five eight hundred Tom, that's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Kevin on the Tom Likas show. Hello Tom. Hello Kevin. Hey um. Don't you think that it's the uh, women's place to complain about something like this? I mean, aren't we kind of lowering ourselves? Uh, no, because here's the thing. If we sit down and do nothing, women will have their own places to be, plus they'll have our places. We will not have places to be by ourselves. Well, they're, they're the hypocrites. You know, it's, well, they it's, may be the hypocrites, but you see, if we want to have our own places, we have to fight this. Well, don't you think that that would be fuel for us to have our own place? If they, if they want to do something like this, can't we, you know... Legally look at it and, and say, you know, well, here's our, here's our. No, because I that. guarantee you, what they'll do is they'll say that we can't have our own place, but they can because women are somehow disadvantaged and they need this. Meanwhile, they, you can't have a male-only place because all the business deals will be done there, and the women won't have access to the male-only club. I, yeah, I can see it now. Well, they have to follow the same rules we do, and if they want to have a place like this and and put the first foot forward saying. It's okay if we segregate, and it's okay if we have public places that are women only, and a man erects one. There's no way 
that they can legally try to, to bring it down without us having a monument to, to their ideals. You know, they well, want to put let, look, like good. Let's get a law. Let's get a law that says that we can have male-only places, too. I'll be perfectly fine. I have no problem with there being women-only places as long as we can have men-only places, men-only clubs, uh, men-only bars, men-only steakhouses, uh, men-only lots of things. Uh, but unfortunately, women will always file a lawsuit about that, and they generally win. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Doyle on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing, sir? I'm great. That's great. Hey, the reason that I think that um, men aren't really doing a big, making a big deal about this is just that we're men. We really don't give a crap if, you know, if, we, if, if something opens up where we can send our women to shut them up and keep them away from them. But it's just that, that women can't handle, handle uh, something opening up where men can go and have their good time and and not not have any repercussions of what they do in the clubs. And it's just women just trying to put their nose in our business, like always, you know? Well, uh, you know, the bottom line here is that women are more tenacious. They do tend to scream and stamp their feet and cry and yell and complain. Yes, sir, that, that is true. You know, and uh, and men tend not to, but the result is uh, women are taking away all our rights. They're taking away our private clubs. They're taking away our private places to gather. You know, you can't go to a bar that's just guys anymore. You can't do it. There's no there's no such thing. Yes, sir. And, and this, uh, when you were talking about this, this re reminds me of when I was back in high school. In high school, we had um, the uh, water polo team. We were CIF. We were the top of the line water polo team. We were the best. But um, it got canceled because it was mostly, it was, you know what, 100% of the time it was guys in the water polo team. Next semester when I go to sign up, it's gone. And you know why? For women, soccer. Well, there you go. And that's a big problem now. You know, you got a lot of colleges where a lot of the male sports are being uh, taken away yes, only sir. because there's no interest in a female version of the sport, so they have to cancel both of them. Exactly. Well, Tom, thank you for your time, and take me out old school. Here you go. It's one 800 tom in case you're just tuning in. J.W. Marriott has a hotel being built in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and they are reserving the entire 19th floor for women only. Women only. Women want to be able to relax over a drink without getting hit on by the guys, according to the spokeswoman for J.W. Marriott. How could this possibly be legal? How can we tolerate this? Claudio on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. We'll go looking for Claudio. We'll say hi here to uh, Steve on the Tom Likas show. Hey, Tom. This is Steve. How are you? Good. Good. Hey, bud. I was, you know, I, I changed my opinion when I was on hold. I actually disagree with you at first until you mentioned uh, something about public accommodations. Um, I actually looked that up, and you're right. You know, there are, there is a law about public accommodations. The public accommodations are things such as, uh, I guess, retail stores, restaurants, movie theaters, hotels, and it does say that public accommodations must comply with basic non-discrimination requirements that pro prohibit. Uh, prohibit exclusion, segregation, and all those things. So yeah, now you you have a right. You have right. a you have a right, for example, to say this is the women's floor. You can paint all the walls pink, and you can put bubble bath in the uh, bathtubs, and you can have women's magazines in the lounge, and you can have fruity drinks at the bar. But if a man wants to stay there, there that that it, that has to be allowed. You can't say a man can't stay there. Yeah, and at first, you know, I thought. That you know, it, it's public. It's a private-owned hotel. You know, they Marriott owns it. It's private land. They can do what they want. But I guess you know, because of that whole public accommodation thing, yeah, it's it doesn't seem like that's the right thing to Let do. Let me tell so. you something. If it were legal to do this, what they're doing with that hotel, I would open a guys-only steakhouse. I think this would be an incredible business. Oh man, totally. And it would have a stripper pole. <laughs> Gotta have that one. Right. <laughs> hey, man, can you take me out with a bong hit and a Jesus thank you? Absolutely. Here you go. Thank you, Jesus. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Robert on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? Great. 
Yeah, you know, if I was to go to the Marriott, right, and just by myself and want to, and want to, you know, go there, you know, what would they say about that? That's a good question. They tell me to get the hell out, right? So then, what am I supposed to do? Just, you know, be a wuss about it and say, "Oh, okay, sorry, I didn't mean to intrude on your your private function here." You know, or am I supposed to do like you are suggesting, and that's you know, file a lawsuit? And absolutely, public uh, places have to be. I mean, you look at you know, during the fifties when there was segregation. Um, you know, let's have a let's have a white male only club. Can you imagine like how much bad press that would generate? People would be rioting and picketing, and you know, it's it's a double standard. It's totally unfair. No, there's no doubt about that. I totally agree with you. And I think, I think this is an excellent topic that you have on the show today because, yeah, this is an issue that people really do care about, you know? I know I do. I mean, I know yeah. I really do. It's like I'm so tired of the fact that women can go anywhere we go, and yet they want to have their own universities, their own um, high schools and elementary schools. They want to have their own health clubs. They want to have, uh, you know, their own hotels. <laughs> I mean, it's outrageous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Why don't they just have their own, their own country, you know? Exactly. I wouldn't mind visiting that if it was just hot women, you know, L.A. 8s or above. Yeah, but of course then they'd be saying they, they were there because they didn't want men around. So what kind right. of women would they be? Yeah, and then we're back to where we started, right? That's right. I don't know about you, but I'm not really dying to crash the uh, Marriott over there in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Neither am I. That's why I'm hoping it's somebody we know who listens, who happens to have business to do there, or that we're, maybe someone who lives in Michigan. Well, I'm in I'm in sales, and I I travel throughout the country, but I don't really go to Michigan. But you know, if I am in Michigan, I'm going to stop by and say yes, I'd like to stay here on, on the 19th floor. floor of the JW Marriott. That's where you want to stay. Yes, 19th floor, please. Thank you. Yep. Oh, wait, you don't want my money? You don't take cash anymore? No, I would just love to see what would happen. I would love to see the lawsuit. Anyways, excellent topic. Can you uh, take me out African tribal style, please? Of course I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom Chelsea on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hi. How are you? Great. Okay, I am my first time listener and caller, so yeah. I just wanted to go ahead and say I agree. I do not think that women should have any kind of special privileges, except at a gym. That I believe men should have that same privilege. But every time I've ever heard of a guy night out with my guy friend, it revolves around the app, like where the girl's going to be at. So I don't know how successful, like, a men's only anywhere would be, because that's all I'm going to think about is getting that out. Well, uh, keep in mind, there, there, years ago, steakhouses were, were for men only, and bars were for men only. Yeah, but I don't know one boy or man today that would want to go to a bar filled with only dudes. Well, there are men who, who <laughs> let me give you an example. Uh, if I want to watch sports... I don't want to go to bars. Yeah, a sports bar maybe should be men's only. Strip clubs. I used to be a dancer. Should definitely be men's only. In I, mean, my I mean, here in SoCal, mm -hmm. uh, most sports bars are nothing more than than meat markets. Uh, they have sports on with the sound down, so you can't hear them. And women uh, have been told by uh, columns in the newspaper, "Oh, you know, if you want to meet men, available men, go to a sports bar." I agree. Maybe that's the one thing that should be for men only is strip clubs and sports bars. I'm just saying as a girl's pers perspective. I'm telling you right family, now, I would put my money where my mouth is if I could legally do it. You could. Okay, I, so I would open. I, now, listen now. I would open a steakhouse for men only. Where my guy friends and my boyfriend, when he has guys night out, I found out they just go to a bar to pick up on shit. Yeah, well, there are guys who go to, like, I want to go to the ball game again and get all the women out of there. Or the hockey game, no women allowed. So you can curse, so you can drink heavily, 
uh, I, I, I'm so tired of the uh, vagination of uh, sporting events. Where they're having domestic... Are you kidding? You know, in Seattle, the uh, ball team has domestic violence night and knitting night. It's disgusting. (laughs) That is. Do you know that that a Dodger game last year, and I think they're doing it again this year, you know how they give it ball games, they give away bats, or they give away uh, balls, or they give away beach towels, whatever. Do you know they gave away lip gloss? No. Lip gloss. If it makes me feel any better, I haven't been to a sporting event since I was five. I understand that, but you, 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 I do not want to be at lip gloss night. <laughs> no, I don't think that should exist. I agree with you on many re- levels. Like I said, I think girls are getting a little too, um, I don't want to say it, but a little, they throw their hissy fits about women this and women that. I think the only place that we should have alone time is at the gym. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of, or a women's only gym. Nothing else really seems like we would need anything all to ourselves. But I think that they should just abolish women only, men only, anything. I think it's kind of silly, that's all. I, I don't think they should abolish anything. I think if you're a private business, you should be able to say men only, women only. Okay. Well, I just don't know, like I said, in my demographic of Orange County young males, any guys that would go anywhere just filled with men. Well, what I don't like, again, and that's why it brings us back to the original story, uh, this idea that we've made laws against gender discrimination, but they just brazenly go out there and break the law, in my view, and Mm -hmm. they say, all right, 19th floor, women only. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I agree. 100%. Thank you, Chelsea. Thanks. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Morgan. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you doing today? Great. Hey, I just graduated about a year ago from a little military college in South Carolina, founded in 1842, and all male up until about 1994. Uh, state decided they wanted to uh, let women in after Shannon Faulkner decided that it would be the best thing for uh, all of womankind. By the way, didn't yeah, by the way didn't like, chat didn't that? You know, I guess there was a, a big hype in the area about how oh we're going to change everything, but if you're going to really change something, why not stick with it? Because she's a little girl. Ooh, 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 ooh. Couldn't agree enough, Tom. <laughs> Thanks for taking the call. Morgan, thank you. There you are, kissing some 60 year old guy. How disgusting. You slut. <laughs> I know the slut, but thank you. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show from Hollywood at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. We're talking about the JW Marriott Hotel in Grand Rapids, Michigan. They've, they're building a new hotel, and they're saying the entire 19th floor is women only, so women don't have to be hassled by guys. How can that be legal? Dana. On the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Daddy. How are you today? Doing okay, dear. Good, good, good. I just actually wanted to call in regarding this topic. I do think it's also a piece of crap. I may disagree with it for, um, excuse me, I may agree with you for different reasons. But um, I think it's a load. If I wanted to go, not that I want to go to Michigan, but if I wanted to go meet a hot guy and I wanted to bring him back up to my room, I couldn't. I'm paying extra, and I can't even bring this hot guy to my room. That's a good point. That's a freaking load. Also, where would it stop? I mean, it, at what point would it actually stop if this is actually going to be able to happen? At what point is it going to be just women only anywhere? I, I like to see men when I go out. I think it's a freaking load. <laughs> well, I, I understand. You should let the Marriott people know about it. Well, I most certainly will. If I can get a bong hit for Jesus, that would be awesome. Of course you can. Thank you, Jesus! It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, uh, Tom. Uh, how's it hanging? Hanging right, Mike. Hey, me too. Awesome. 
Hey, hey, Tom, I was wondering, uh, how, how do they get away with curves? The other woman mentioned that they should have women-only gyms, but how does curves get away with that? I, I don't think curves any longer is for women only. I think they say that, but if a man wants to apply, there's nothing they can do. I do a, uh, I haven't done it in a while, but we're going to do it again soon. I, I do a uh, comedy show called Boys Night Out, and we say that it's for men only. But the reality is, if a woman comes up to the counter and wants to buy a ticket, we can't deny her the right to get in. Okay, I got you there. And hey, hey, Tom, I was wondering, as far as the Marriott goes, can men call them up and make reservations for the 19th floor? Well, but maybe, maybe some men should try. I think so. I mean, do you know the number? Because if every man that listens calls and tried to make reservations, you know. Well, the hotel hasn't opened yet, so I don't even know if you can call it yet. Uh, but certainly, Marriott has an 800 number. You can probably uh, try to make a reservation for September. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, well, thanks a lot, Tom. Uh, could you take me out old school? Of course I can. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Tim. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? Great. Hey, so I disagree with you on this issue. I don't really... I can't believe a company as big as, as, as Marriott would make uh, such a big mistake. And, and oh, uh, the but companies uh, break the law and make mistakes all the time. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, number one, they're not saying no men can come into the hotel. They're just they're just giving just like you know a women women have a special bathroom, men have a special. Well, you bathroom. know, in the fifties they had special bathrooms for black people. I understand that's a and reason. white people. And drinking fountains as well. I think that's right. Well, guess what? That's not legal. I know it's not legal, but it's it's different. The rest of the hotel is integrated. They're just giving a private section for uh, again. You could that. not. You can, if you can't have the whites only bathrooms. You can't. You can't have a whites only floor in the hotel. What if you had a hotel with a 19th floor was white people only? Yeah. Well, you know, I see your point. I, I don't see how it hurts anybody in particular. It's not the point. You said it's legal, but it's not. I, you know, you may be right. I'm going to look it up. But, you know, I, I the corollary to this is that the uh, – is this the one in Grand Rapids, Michigan that you're talking about? Yes. My college roommate, uh, whose name you can look it up on uh, Google or whatever the hell you want, uh, his name is – and he's actually the general manager for that hotel uh and a good friend of mine i'll get him on the phone if you want to talk yeah to him. get him on the phone tell yeah, you what get him on the phone now but if you're interested i'll set it up absolutely i'll tell you what i'm gonna put you on with dino and i'm gonna uh, let him take your information and uh, we'll, we'll get, yeah i'd love to get him on i'd like to see how he justifies this i would 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number dina on the tom Liger show hello tom i'm mad at you <laughs> why because did I did I did I did I have sex with you and then not call you back like so many no, others? No, but oh. you think you know women are only good for the bedroom. Why do you care what we do outside of it if that's all we're good for, anyways? Well, again, uh, what, uh, the reason I care is because men don't have the right to do the same thing. Well, I think they should. I'm on your side on that one. But what I'm upset about is, you know, I don't go to the gym in hoochie shorts. And I don't go to the gym looking to get somebody's number, but I always get hit on. And to be honest with you, it would be nice to have a place where it was only women. Oh, great. But if it weren't for all the women who demonstrated for the right to get into country clubs, bars, restaurants, what have you, uh, you wouldn't have this problem today. Yeah. The reason that you have men and women together at the gym is because women demanded access to all of our stuff. But you guys should be able to have a place for just you. I mean, I wouldn't complain about well, it. Why don't you give Gloria Allred a call and tell her that? Well, it's ridiculous. Honestly, it's ridiculous. And I'm tired of going to places that it is co-ed, and it's just like, it's a meat market, you know? I go to the gym to work out. I don't go to the gym to score. And so... Yes, but now, now dear, you have... Now, dear, you, now, dear, thanks to Gloria, you have the right to join the Friars Club. Yeah, well, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> That's really Enjoy it. <laughs> you, right, can, you can hang out with Joey Bishop at the Friars Club. It's very exciting. And you know what? I called her earlier. He's like, yeah, you know. Well, no, actually, you said it that there aren't any bars for just guys. There are, but it's just gay guys. So no, but even then, if a woman comes, in, dare if a woman comes into a gay bar, they get served. Oh, that's. Oh, just be. You see, again, you can market to just guys or just chicks. You just can't refuse service. 
Well, you know what, then? I think all guys' clubs should make it very uncomfortable for women to go there, and all women's places should make it very uncomfortable for men, so nobody's, like, pissed off that they can't go. Well, they man, many do. Go. Many do that. Like, when yeah, you, when you call that, when you call it... Somebody would see that they didn't feel comfortable enough, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, you when you... Win. Well, like that gym, uh, that I, I, don't, I don't know how many of them there are, but there's one in Studio City called Curves. If a man wants to belong to a club called Curves, well, I guess he can, but uh, uh, yeah. what do you tell your pals, you know? So, uh, that, but in my view, that's that's a good way to handle it. Uh, yeah. Anybody can be served, uh, but uh, you're going to have uh, pink toilets and uh, pink barbells and uh, a place called Curves. Yep. All right, Tom, keep blowing me up, please. Of course I can, dear. Five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. It's Jack on the Tom Like It Show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a, I did not hear it was cutting out. Um, yeah, I'm a new listener, so this is all new to me. I'm I'm listening, but I, I agree with you 100 percent about the especially about the sports. I think women are ruining the games because last week I turned on Sports Center. I want to watch the highlights of baseball, and it's it's uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Week. The guys are swinging pink bats. Yes. Where are the testicular cancer ribbons? Where are the, the colon and the prostate cancer ribbons? Because more men die from that than any other cancer. And how come we don't have a ribbon for that? How come we have to have a guy swinging right. pink bats to encourage the girls to come to the games? You know, I think they ought to have a, a, a sexually frustrated night for men <laughs> where instead of pink bats, they throw blue balls. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I'm telling you, these women, they're getting everything they want now, and we're, if we don't stand up for ourselves, whether I believe it's right or not, yes, I agree that if we don't start standing up for ourselves, more and more things are going to start falling into their laps, and we're not going to have anything, any leg to stand on. That's and right. We're only going to be able to bl blame, blame ourselves. And if it isn't my face in their lap, well, then you're going to have all the other things falling into their lap. If I, if I want to watch Sports Center and have a and while I'm flipping through, I don't want to see pink bats. I'm not going to lose my erection because of a pink bat. <laughs> All right, sir. So, well, you, I guess everybody's requesting something to, to send themselves off with. Whatever you feel is necessary. I'm, like I said, I'm still new, so oh. I appreciate it, Tom. Well, we do the old school way for you, of course. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Paul on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What's up, brother? Not much. Hey, listen, man. Uh, I got news for you. There's already a place uh, that uh, women are, uh, no men are invited, just women only. Where's that? It's called the freaking malls, bro. Well, yeah, I mean, again, you know, <laughs> although they're made for women, if a man decides he wants to go in there and brave that, he can. Yeah, who wants to do that, man? Every weekend you can catch me golfing or watching. <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number in Grand Rapids, Michigan, the J.W. Marriott Hotel. It opens. In well, it's just it's like who really cares if there's an all women's floor? The same, I mean, the really same, matter? the same people who are told you can't have men only anything. Well, did, are those the people making the the accusations that it's not right, or is it just... I'm, I'm telling you, look, I would have no problem with this as long as we have men-only floors and hotels, men-only restaurants, men-only bars, men-only sporting events, men-only only comedy men clubs. Are be around men are gay men, so... Well, that's, that, guess what? That's our problem, okay? And that should be the problem of the individual uh, business owner. That's true, but I'm on my way to a hockey game, and I sit. I have season seats, and I sit next to men that don't really watch the game, and they talk about things. So there are women out there that really get into uh, sports and and. Uh, well, get, get, it, get, but so. the point is, if a man uh, owns a hockey team and he says, you know what, I want a male-only environment in there, so the guys can curse and fight and drink heavily and everything. And, and without any kiss cams on the screen or without any... I disagree with the kiss cam thing, but they do that anyway. It's the men putting the kiss cam up who's running the cameras. Because they're trying... No, no, it's not who's running the cameras. Somebody tells them what to do. And clearly, uh, because women are allowed in there, they are marketing to women. That's true. They do flash up all the hoochie mamas that aren't even worth putting on the screen, that's for sure. I'd well, much rather see a fight than a... 
than a fake bimbo on the street. See, you're a real hockey fan. but I am a real hockey fan, absolutely. You know, most of the women who go to the game, they spend half their time in line at the cappuccino machine, and then they come back down while play is in progress, and it really pisses me off. I'd really like to go to a female-free environment. Or, or one with at least me there, because I'm like one of the guys. So There you go. <laughs> All right, Tom. Well, you keep rocking. Thank you, Melissa. You're welcome. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Jamie on the top line is show. Hello. Yeah, I just wanted to find out your thoughts on Augusta National Golf Course. Well, keep in mind that uh, that is uh, legal because it is a private club. And private clubs generally have the right to uh, exclude anyone they want to exclude. Well, what about black colleges? Black colleges? Yeah, you know, I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. I don't. First of all, I don't think colleges are considered the same as private clubs. But on top of that, um, I think if you're white and you want to go to Grambling College, you can. I don't think so. I don't think anybody wants to. Well, I don't think that they can. Well, I'm. I'm not sure that's true. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I, I and I'm not that, sure it would be legal. I think that. People have the right to refuse anybody that they want, regard, you know, regarding... Not, of, for, not according to race, gender, handicap, national origin, religion, and all that list. Right, but they're not refusing them. They're just saying you can't go on this floor, which is the same thing as... like. Uh, well, then, uh, then fine, let's go back to the whites-only uh, drinking fountains. Yeah, but... I don't know if that's the same thing. It is the same thing. It is, they, they, they back, that was the excuse back in the 40s and 50s. They said, hey, there's black drinking fountains. I, I understand that, but I'm not quite sure. I mean, they completely refused them. They said, you have to do this and you have to do that. Oh, but, no, but again, they, they had black bathrooms and black drinking fountains. And uh, the Supreme Court said that that's illegal. So having uh, women-only floors would be the same thing in a public accommodation. Our email address, tom at blowmeuptom.com. That's tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Like issue are considered the same as private clubs, but on top of that, um, I think if you're white and you want to go to Grambling College, you can. I don't think so. I don't think anybody wants to. Well, I don't think that they can. Well, I'm I'm not sure that's true. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I, I and I'm not that, sure it would be legal. I think that people have the right to refuse anybody that they want, regard you know, regarding not of, for, not according to race, gender, handicap, national origin, religion, and all that list. Right, but they're not refusing them. They're just saying you can't go on this floor. Which is the same thing as, like... Uh, well, then, uh, then fine, let's go back to the whites-only uh, drinking fountains. Yeah, but I, I don't know if that's the same thing. It is the same thing. It is, they, they, they back, that was the excuse back in the 40s and 50s. They said, hey, there's black drinking fountains. I, I understand that, but I'm not quite sure. I mean, they completely refused them. They said, you have to do this and you have to do that oh no but again they they had black bathrooms and black drinking fountains and uh, the supreme court said that that's illegal so having uh, women only floors would be the same thing in a public accommodation our email address tom at blowmeuptom.com that's tom at blowmeuptom.com the tom like show